Hey folks, Dino here again. This time, taking a look at the bootleg version of Wrathful Broly slash Super Saiyan Broly. Created by her new friends at Legend Creation again. So you can be sure there'll be some amazing shortcuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, this uh, figure, I, I did get it about a month ago. I apologise, it's so late coming out. Um, I've had a bit going on that I've had to fix before I got back into this. Um, nothing serious. Things just got on top of me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, without further ado, let's not look at the box because being a bootleg, if I can help it, I don't purchase the box. Saves a few quid. Hey -oh. <laughs> It's just the same as the real one, just with Legend Creations logo on it instead. But yeah, um, let's take a quick look at accessories, shall we? So you've got, obviously, the Super Saiyan one. You've got the Berserk one that he comes with in the packaging. It's actually pretty decently done. And main difference is they've just drilled a hole into the plastic instead of a custom piece that Tamashi makes. You've got the standard head, looking a bit shiny, and just his normal sets of hands. So you've got sort of grippy key blast hands and more splayed open key blast hands. So yeah, um, he did come with the sort of shock collar, but it was broken in the package. So yeah. That's already in the bin. <laughs> so, yeah. In terms of the figure itself, let's take a look at the official one. Side by side. His shock collar is not being helpful. There we go. You'll see immediately that the Wrathful Broly, or the official one, is taller and more detailed but that kind of works in this guy's favour because he ends up being slimmer which fits the Super Saiyan form I've always said I wasn't a fan of how bulky they made this guy and then gave him all of the accessories for Super Saiyan in base form because it wasn't accurate <laughs> this guy is thinner so he fits those forms a lot better Base form's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than this guy. And that's saying something. Unfortunately, he does come with his own problems. So, yeah, let's get the real one out of the way. And take a look at his articulation. So, yeah, this piece stands out a country mile. I have no idea why, after doing so well with the basically legendary form of Broly where they made this nice and soft why is this suddenly rock solid legend creation? like did you run out the other type of plastic? Um, that, <laughs> it hinders his articulation pretty much completely not that he had much to begin with because as you can see he's got the standard fake sort of articulation which is bizarre to think of because the wrathful version of Broly just the 1.0 hips he just has the standard pull down hips so I don't see why they had to re-engineer it into a fake 2.0 hip just keep it 1.0 that's all you had to do easy enough <laughs> oh I, I really don't understand legend creation sometimes I really don't um, these up here are much softer plastic than the real one so they tend to get in, out of whack a lot easier than the real one um, he's missing the butterfly hinge as with all legend creation figures pretty much all they've done is create a new piece there 
Again, I, I really don't understand how some of these changes are more cost effective than simply copying them. Maybe they couldn't get them high enough quality, I don't know. We debate this every time, like, I do a legend creation figure. <laughs> it's just bizarre. Um, it looks as if he has ab crunch, but it's totally solid. You can't move it at all. <laughs> I don't know if they just glued the two pieces together and called it a day. But yeah. Um, apart from that, the figure is decent until you get to the feet, which are floppy as all get out. So yeah, I don't know if that's a common issue with the bootleg of this Broly, but mine certainly is. He's also got one leg longer than the other, and because it's a 2.0 hip instead of the standard 1.0, you can't fix it. I really, I, I struggle to understand them, I really do. <laughs> but yeah, um, in terms of the, the heads, mostly they're alright. The black ones are kind of glossy, but they're okay. The Super Saiyan one sort of fails quite badly. It looks as if he's got black lipstick on and he's got banana hair instead of the real, swerve, the real one. There's the real one there. The difference is noticeable straight away. <laughs> the good thing is though, if you've got the real one, the pegs fit. So there, just like that, you've got the bootleg with the real face on it. Looks better in your display, and now you've got two Brolies. I mean, honestly, I, I'm a bit overly critical of these figures. I can see the point in being overly critical when it's the smaller figures, but they're selling these big guys for the same price. I mean, this guy was 17 quid. 17 pounds, including shipping. That's nothing. That's cheaper than a Dragon Stars. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. <sighs> I really don't. But yeah. Enough ranting. Let's go on articulation, shall we? You can look up barely because of his hair. Look down an alright amount. These are hinged. They can get out of the way. Sorry, I'm struggling to get this on camera because he's still a big boy. Um, waist can kind of go down, kind of go up. The shoulders are the fake butterfly joints, as I said, kind of move about, can go up that far, swivel, hinge at the bicep, double jointed elbow, which is horrible looking. I think they cheaped out on those a little bit. In fact, let's take a look at the real one. No, 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 no. They haven't cheaped out. The real one does have those gaps. Apologies for that one. Legend creation. Um, you've got the ball hinge at the wrist. However, it's sticking out quite a bit on both sides, which does kind of lend it some credit because you can get a lot more range out of it. <laughs> the legs are pretty much non-existent. They, they barely move at all. Um, the knee joints are okay. I think you can get them to go right back. Uh, they're not quite connected in properly, so they don't sit as nicely as the official one does. He does have foot articulation to the extreme, to the point that you can barely stand the guy. He does have the toe swivel, or the, the foot swivel, and toe articulation. But yeah, um, this guy is a decent stand-in, as long as you're not going to use the Super Saiyan head for Wrathful Broly. Um, I think I will just have him 
in my display on a flight stand just as if he's coming in for the first time as Super Saiyan so yeah he can pose just not as well as the real one so yeah guys that will do it for this review I would recommend this guy definitely just as, as a stand-in because the real one is really getting up there in price these days like insanely so <laughs> so yeah um, definitely well I wouldn't say worth the money I would say worth it as a stand-in so yeah um, that'll do it for this review guys I'll see y'all later